and software projects there. We are open on Thursday evening. Welcome to join us. We have the address below. Yeah. It's uh, be beside Shenzhen University Metro Station. Uh, so, uh, so LFS has a lot of variations. The first is uh, LFS itself. Uh, it's, it compiles, so it will build a Linux distribution on the uh, x86 uh, architecture to the x86 architecture. So uh, with this uh, with this variation, you would not know there were no chance to have the cross compile. Mm. And there are other variations. Uh, the first is embedded LFS. It means uh, you build a embed Linux distribution from uh, ARM to ARM, for example. And it will not not include the cross compile too, mm, but it will be much slower since ARM is not that high performance as Intel CPUs. The other, the third is what I am going to talk about. It's CLFS, which is called cross Linux from L Linux from scratch. Uh, and we have some websites and URLs listed uh, here. And why I choose this is because I have a high performance uh, laptop, so I can build a kernel and other uh, other binaries more quick. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, so the other question is why I want to have my CLFS project. Uh, since it's I can build my own distribution, so I can control everything. Uh, I can have all of the uh, source code and compile in them into binaries, including the kernel, the ker kernel drivers, and uh, device tray, and other executables. And it's pretty small. It's only uh, 65 megabytes. And it can, it can be even smaller. On a CLFS, uh, CLFS website, it can be as small as 8 megabytes. It can use BusyBox instead of a four functional set of tools. So it can, uh, it are, you can make it customized for your own PCB. And it, uh, by doing CLFS, you can uh, get an uh, idea of how operating system boots itself. And you can use the, try the CLFS with a full emulated uh, environment without any hardware. So that make it uh, more easy to access instead of buying a lot of hardwares, power them up, and uh, burn the SD cards, uh, burn the images into SD cards. Mm, so that's the reason I w why I want to build a CLFS myself. Mm, I choose uh, Raspberry Pi to mm, build since there are uh, Q emulator system ARM which provided which provided Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi three for emulation. Uh, so the Raspberry Pi two itself is a Cortex A seven thirty two bit ARM. Mm. Mm, with the f uh, here with the link, you can find more information about uh, the arm itself. Mm. And uh, before before CLFS, you need to know the architecture of the processor itself. It must be accurate. If you build a MIPS uh, architecture binary f for our arm CPU, it will not run for sure. And after we uh, get the information of the architecture itself, the second is build bin utils. It includes uh, assembler and object copy, object dump, uh, and some other executables, which we will use them to um, make other binary files. Mm, these, uh, the bin utils, are compiled and installed on host PC. And the second is we will build a cross compile to chain, which is ARM Linux Muso EABI GCC. And in other variations, you can see that there are ARM Linux non uh, ARM Linux EABI GCCs. These are variations of the um, these are variation of the standard C libraries. 
Um, these tools are also compiled and installed on host PC. Mm, and the second is to get the Linux Linux headers. Mm. Uh, you need to download the mm, kernel, the kernel source itself, and then um, unzip it to a uh, unzip it to a folder, and make the default config, and then compile the folder using the com uh, cross compile to chains. Which here, here I see that no, no. CLFS CLFS Arch means the uh, the ARM Linux Muso EABI dash. So with this uh, configured, you can use the cross compile to chains to compile the the source files. It means that you will compile the source code on uh, x86 architect and build the binaries into ARM architecture. Mm, with these steps, you will have the he header and the uh, Linux config itself installed. Mm, these are some um, mm, this is how I built the ARM Linux Muso EABI GCC. With this architect with this uh, with these lines you can get uh, executable on on your host PC. And you have the reference. Oh, these are export the mm, uh, default cross compile cross compilers into the uh, variables. So when you log in as a CL user of CL LFS, you will have the uh, environment variables preset. Mm. Here is uh, another step. You can create the directory structure. It will create a lot of uh, directories. Uh, for example, the bin boot, the device, etc. These are the uh, these are the file folders you see on a Linux uh, file system. And in you will set the, set the flags here for the folders for, for different users to access. Mm. And and the next step is to create a password to the groups and uh, by last log files. Uh, the etc password um, file has uh, a record for different uh, users. Mm, you can see the usernames here and its uh, group group number and some other information. And this is the default default shell. Uh, being false means you cannot log in. Mm. So it is a password is an important file which needs kernel user to manage the different users. And the other file is etc group, which is uh, similar to etc password. Sorry, there is a P missing. Uh, it, has a it has a group names uh, inside. Uh, and the number is group number. Um, uh, and this step you will build and install the uh, lab GCC into your target system. And this is important for uh, other other ex executable binaries. And other executable binaries will uh, will call this uh, dynamic link file to to execute execute. And the next is IANA, etc. It will create a, it will download some file from the internet to get the default p 
port and the service name related informations. And mm, with that, uh, you can see the 22 port is for SSH login default and the 80 is for HTTP service. Mm, these are only a uh, list and a part of the the file itself. It has a lot of other information and other services inside. And here comes to the very important step, build the kernel itself. Mm. Uh, you have already downloaded the kernel source file yet, and now it's time to build the kernel itself. Uh, the first, the first line is to make the directory clean, and the second, um, and the second and the third uh, here is uh, here make bcmr two seven zero nine is for config use the default config files for Raspberry Pi two. Mm, uh, you can find this information on the on the link here. And this, uh, the second is build the source file uh, with seven threads. And the third is to build the Z image and uh, modules and the device trace. Uh, these are, uh, the Z image is a kernel, kernel image and modules are for uh, hardware drivers and the D DTBS are for uh, device trace, which kernel used to uh, configure the different hardware. This will take uh, about half an hour. And then you will have your Z image ready, which you will use it later. And the last line is to install the, uh, the compiled files into the target system. Mm. Then your target file system will have uh, the kernel module and the kernel installed. And here are a list of uh, very useful, uh, useful uh, bootloaders. You can choose one of them to boot. And now you already have a kernel and the <coughs> file system. You can try the to run it on the uh, QEMU emulator, uh, which I have the link here. Um, I will try it later. <coughs> with that, you can run uh, ARM. Uh, you can run the uh, ARM operating system on your uh, Intel PC. Uh, here are my some some of my future plans. Uh, although the talk is about CLFS, but I haven't finished the CLFS yet. The operating si the file system has some some error. I will uh, try to figure them out uh, later in several days. And the second is uh, there are there is no package manager in LFS which which is quite important to our distribution. In Derbian variations, we use ABT and, uh, and DBKG. In other variations, we use Zephyr or uh, Pac-Man. These are very important to, mm, to, an opening, uh, to our di Linux distribution, we have, but we haven't mentioned it here. And uh, here are some of my potential errors since I use this cross compile link, um, cross compile LD to see if the if the binary compiled is uh, is right, but it see it says cannot find entry symbol start. So I may have got something wrong with the compiling method. And uh, I want to mention that Q emulator is a very good tool for LFS. It can save you a lot of time without dealing with the hardware errors. So, and uh, okay, I will show something here.
and it will has it will print all the information out. And here you can see the Raspbian uh, GNU Linux uh, is loaded. It means that the file system goes well. And the green OK shows that the system D is uh, setting up different services. But it's not my it's not using my uh, file system. It's using an uh, existing file system, but using the hardware, but, but using the kernel and the kernel modules I have built. Mm, it will take some minutes, so let's So, do you uh, welcome welcome to visit Shenzhen DIY? We have uh, open day in every Thursday evening. You can find more information on our website shenzhendiy.org. So, do you have any questions? <laughs> Using Linux uh, uh, for me is very important. So, I want to know how the the operating system works and. Uh, there's a friend told me that LFS is a good start to know the detail of Linux kernel and all the process which it will invoke when booting. Uh, and it's a challenge to manage the a lot of source code and uh, binaries on your uh, existing file system. So, and it's quite good. <laughs> so do you have any questions? Uh, reduce the size, right? Uh, it's not important to this distribution. So the stripe means uh, remove the debug symbols from the binary, so the so the uh, program size can be much much smaller. And but the uh, but the side effect no no the effect is that you cannot use GDB to log the. Uh, debug uh, the uh, program with its symbols. You cannot see the uh, function's name and all the detailed information inside. But uh, in other ways, you can make the debug information into another file and you can load it uh, to your GDB using some other ways. Yeah. So after the strip, the, uh, the uh, dynamic link file will be pretty much smaller. So you can see here that the it can log in now. Okay, that's all of it. Thank you.